Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. I'm continuing my study in what the Bible tells us about love. And of course, it's impossible to cover all of these passages. But if you have a digital concordance, uh, maybe look it up on the internet. You can find all of the passages in the Bible about love. And then you can spend the next year studying all of those things on your own. Today, I'm following up of where we were last time in Mark chapter 12. Last time we looked at verse 30. Today we're going to be looking at verse 31. And we're commanding not only to love God, but to love others. Jesus was asked by a scribe, what is the first command? And he responded in verse 29 by saying, the first of all the commandments is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And this is the first command. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This, there is no other commandment greater than these. And so we're looking at this verse 31 today, that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus um, was asked, who is my neighbor? And um, he told the story, what we call the Good Samaritan story, of, of a man that was on his way. And being on his way, he was walking through an area, and he was robbed, he was mugged, and he was left for dead. He was laying there, wounded, unconscious, unable to get up and move, having been robbed of his possessions. And um, there came across um, a man, a Samaritan man, that um, didn't have to stop, but he did. And he, he took this one that had been robbed and left for dead, and he took him to an inn. He cared for them. He, he cared for this man on his own. And then on top of that, um, he left money to pay for uh, the man being able to stay there until he had recovered. And then he gave his assurance that when he returned from his trip, if there, was, um, if there was a balance on the account, uh, if there was more money uh, needing to be paid, that he would cover those charges. And so that's what the Bible says when it says we are to love our neighbor, not just to love them in a sense, but we would love them as we would want to be loved. If we were laying there um, on the grounds, somebody had mugged us, we would want somebody to stop and help us as well, to go out of their way, to have compassion upon us. Look around, and we see all kinds of people that are around us today. We see people that need the love of God in their life. Spiritually, they need to be rescued by God's love. And to love your neighbor as yourself means that you share the gospel with them. The greatest need that any individual would have would be the need to be rescued from the condemnation of sin. And that condemnation of sin means that they will perish. It means that they will spend eternity in hell separated from God. To be rescued from that, to have that knowledge, that understanding. Well, you can love your neighbor. You can love your family. You can love your friends. You can love... Um, others that God brings across your path in many different ways, but to love them through sharing the gospel with them is the greatest possible way that you could love them. You could love them by taking care of their needs, having compassion upon them, helping with something that they're facing in their life, helping them get through a difficult time. You could love them through praying for them, through caring for them, through encouraging them, as well through challenging them to walk Christ-like if they've already made a commitment to Him. Love takes many shapes and forms. It takes us to love others like Jesus would love them. That's what God is talking about here. That's what Jesus is saying where He says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You know, we hope that you've already experienced God's love in your life, and if not, we'd like to help you do that. Here at Temple Baptist Church, we have services at 
at um, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Sundays, at 6 p.m. on Sundays, and at 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. If you don't have a church home, come and join us. God bless you. I hope that you'll like and share this video and that you'll return next time as we continue our look into what the Bible talks about when it says love. We'll see you then.